up guys welcome back to the channel I'm back at it again with your boy mauricio in today's video what we're going to be doing is uh, i've been waiting a long time for this day to come and today's the day that we get the new wheels mounted on my car um, so the type of wheels i did get were they're called sve r350 wheels so pretty much what they are it's a replica wheel of the gt 350r wheels and i did get them in gloss back just to give you a quick sneak peek so without further ado let's go ahead and head to the shop to get them mounted also guys i did forget to mention i did pick up these wheels back in january like i think it was like the like the first week of january so one of my buddies his name is gabriel well i call him gabe and he um he went with me all the way to durham to pick up these wheels and i got the full set for six hundred dollars that was including the sensors the lug nuts center caps I just really hate that the guy didn't have the OE, though not the OEM, the the center caps that actually come with the wheel. So the actual center cap it says S V E R, but the guy just had his leftover pony um, center cap. So um, that was the only downside. I'm, 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 I mean, apart from that, um, the wheels just did have like little dings and then then in there. So it had like one of them had like curb rash. And then like one of them had like a paint chip and also i just want to give a huge shout out, shout out to my brother um he did help me polish the wheels um but last week so um yeah so uh, i mean whenever we first got to polish in the wheels like there was a lot of scratches on them because i'm assuming that the previous owner he didn't really take good care of them um because it did have like a lot of scratches but after polishing them with some compound um we did get those mo most of the scratches out so and he was pretty surprised um, how the wheels turned out because they looked like they were pretty much new um, apart from the curb rash on the wheels. So he, and he was also surprised that I got them for 600 bucks. Yeah, so he, he thought I had paid like around like 1500. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. I, I'm like, I wouldn't pay 1500 for that, for some used wheels. I'm like, for that type of money, I can go buy the, my, uh, the wheels I actually want. So I think I will be running this setup for at least probably a year or two before I switch over to a different set of wheels um i eventually once get some four star f14s in a gunmetal color or probably some rohanas rohanas or hres i mean just whatever whenever the opportunity arises so yeah so um let's go ahead and get um go into the shop right now Alrighty guys, so um, we came to Thomas Tire of Ashboro to get our new tires uh, mounted on the new wheels. So let's go ahead and get inside and get to um, installing these, or not installing, getting the wheels mounted onto the new tires. So let's go ahead and go. Alrighty, so we just got done with um, getting the, the tires mounted. So uh, I gotta say, the, those wheels do look really nice on the on the on this car. So um so we just gotta wait a little bit more and then i'm gonna go ahead and reveal them but i gotta say the fitment is pretty nice so what we ended up going with was a 305 35 19 on the rear and the rear actual dimension of the of the wheel was 19 by 11. then up in the front we went with a 265 35 19 and the width no the actual dimensions of the front wheels is 19 by 10 so I gotta say these look these look really nice compared to the stock one so i'm really happy with what we got done today so um so i think what's next is we're gonna go ahead and go somewhere else and get some shots of the car and yeah so catch you later also i did want to mention so um big shout out to zach from thomas tires so if you're watching this video later on or anything um big shout out to you he really made the the process of getting these tires um really well and he was really helpful with everything so shout out to thomas tires so if you need any tires or anything come here um pretty i mean they're pretty fast considering that they are really busy here so yeah what's up guys welcome back so um 20 26 days later um we're finally getting to clean the car and we're gonna go ahead and reveal the wheels so um the car is kind of dirty right now so just um don't mind about that but I'm about to clean it real quick, so we're gonna go ahead and reveal the wheels right now. Alrighty guys, and for the moment of truth, here are the new wheels. And 
there's the rear. So let's just get kind of get like a side view of the wheel of the wheel fitment with the tires. I think it's a pretty sick fitment. So again on the front, I did run a 265-3519. Um it is the front wheel dimension is 19 by 10. Then the rear is a 305-3519. But that one is a 19 by 11 all right guys so just let me know down in the comment section on what you think of the new wheel fitment i think it's pretty good because i mean it does sit pretty flush i mean you got a little bit of poke in the front but i think it is sitting pretty flush but um in the future i do plan on getting some coilovers because i mean i was thinking about doing lowering springs but um i got a couple friends and my including my brother um he did mention that um it is better it is the better route to go with coilovers so Cause then they say with Lauren Springs, they, it affects the ride quality and stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start saving for some coilovers for the future. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to cleaning the car real quick. boys so now we have the car fully clean so now you can see the difference in how clean the wheels look before um they didn't look that shiny i mean they did look really dull but now um they do look clean um all i gotta do is just let the tires dry and then i'm gonna go ahead and put some tire shine and let's take a look at the rear ones so i really like the fitment on the rear so and apart from that these tires and um, they do grip really good whenever you do look when you do pull so that's plus look at the car from a different angle i feel like this build is really taking shape now that i don't have stock wheels anymore r.i.p to the stock wheels they ain't never gonna be they're never gonna get put on the car again Damn, that fitment looks pretty good. Now the next thing that we gotta do to make these wheels pop with the paint as well, we need to paint them calipers yellow. Oh yeah, and also did get some new um, center caps. So here are the actual center caps that are supposed to come with the car. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out those stock pony ones i mean i don't I'm re i really don't like how they look i mean you don't need the horse on or the pony on there to know that it's a mustang so we're about to do that real quick so um let's hope that i don't struggle a lot because i mean it does it is because it is it, it is really hard to take those center caps off without taking off the whole wheel so let's go ahead and try to do that real quick all right boys so now we have one of the center caps out so i think that does look way better compared to that pony um, it's called it's SVE. That's the brand of the wheels. R, cause um, they are replica wheels of the GT 350R wheels. So, yeah. I mean, one thing that I did not notice, um, you actually have to glue this. There's double-sided tape on this. You actually gotta put it on this. So, yeah, we gotta do that to the other three. So we went ahead and got one done. I think these look way better. Than those pony ones. I mean, the red is gonna pop out with the with the black. And plus my car is red so yeah alrighty boys so now we're in the in the downtown area where i live so um we're just taking some pictures and some videos of the car so let's just do a walk around i think the new tire and wheel fitment looks pretty sick God damn. I think it's crazy how just something so simple as wheel and tires can change um, how your car really looks. I mean, I feel like we've done quite a, not quite a few things, but a lot of things to this car. So you got the 
SVE R350 wheels with the Netto NT Triple 5G2 tires. We got the um, gloss black 5 badge. We got our 20% window tent. We got our Anderson's composite um, carbon fiber GT500 spoiler. We got the Diodynamics smoke side markers. Our gloss black GT badge. Damn, that car looks really good. All right guys, so I came to another spot to take some more photos of the car. So, God damn, I, I really, I feel like those wheels really did do a lot for the car. Cause I mean, before, I mean, the car did look nice, but it didn't look as nice as it does now. Look at these tires. I mean, God damn, especially the rears, look at them. I gotta save for the future. Once I do go through these tires, I'm gonna stick with Nitto. I ain't going with any other brand other than Nitto. I did forget to say that um, also with um, the tires, well, the fronts and the rears, I ended up paying 1,400 in total for the for that setup of tires. So. I think it's a pretty good setup. Yeah. One thing I really can't wait for is whenever I get to um, installing the RTR grill because I, I think it's going to make the car look really sick. I mean, I already think it looks pretty sick as is, but I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. We still got to get them calipers painted yellow. Got to get our RTR grill installed. I don't know. I was thinking about getting some carbon fiber um bit events i mean i want to but then again um in the future in the near future i, uh, I kind of want to get a new hood for the car so i can make mine stand out and make mine stand out more than the others Alrighty guys, so I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, I was really glad that we got to get to the wheel reveal of the car. Um, I'm really happy with how the, the car looks now. So, I mean, you just got to keep on going, keep on going with the mods. But um, yeah, next next video should be on the strut tower brace. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do the RTR install. Um, so that's going to be a pretty long video. So, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for future Mustang content. And remember always, if you ain't stanging, you ain't banging.